Hi guys and welcome back to another one of my video. Um, what I'm gonna do in this video is that I want to take a peek inside this CB mic. Um, the old one, that this is the old one, got uh, a little bit pulled here at the, at the cables and it it no longer works fine. This is the one that came with the unit. So I bought an aftermarket one, I put it on the unit and that one actually sounds better than this. So if you if you need your CB radio, it actually worked the money in investing in an aftermarket uh, microphone for the unit that you have. Uh, this is a, a Cobra, uh, the classical one s19 something uh, whatever so let's open it and see what's inside because i'm actually a little bit curious so you have a screw here in the back it's uh, one of those uh, and cross, not star, kind of screws. Okay, so this is the screw, it's out. This little knob is the one that you use to hang it. This is the button that you use to transmit when you push. Now let's open it. Okay. Precious? No. Sorry, my cat is, is on the counter and she's stealing macaroni. Okay, so once you open it, it's, uh, you have to click it a little bit. Okay, it has uh, these little claws that hang tight into the, into the top. And you have to be careful not to lose this one if you just open it for other reasons than just looking into it. And you want to put it back together. So, you see this is, this is the button. And then in here you should have a... Um, actually it's a speaker that also acts as a microphone. It picks up the vibration and sends it to the, to the unit through these cables. As you see, the cables are color-coded. One of them is ground. Um, another one is uh, for receiving. Another one is for transmitting. And then there's, I don't know what else. Um, you can see on the box which color wire goes for what and does what, depending on the model that you buy. Because they are not all coded the same. So I need a smaller screwdriver like this one really pointy and let's open up the speaker you see you have one two three screws there I'm gonna take them out The aftermarket ones also have some filters in there and maybe that's why they, they sound better. Some people when they're talking on the CB radio, I, I swear to God it sounds like they're, they're talking on one of those, you know, two cans and a string and they're talking into it and all you hear is like no 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 And what really stuns me is that there are other people answering back to them. They actually understand what those people are saying. I never do. Unless it's clear, I can't, I, I don't really understand what they're saying. Okay, so here is the, the mic. It has a little rubber bushing here. And then some, uh, some holes that let the, um, the sound go in. And under this plastic, you have the actual mic slash uh, loudspeaker. Remember when I was a kid, I was actually using a, a big speaker as a microphone. I, um, I had the, the cable spliced and I had a little jack on it and I would just put it in the microphone 
and I speak, I talk into the speaker, and the the the, the stereo would actually pick it up and record it on the cassette. So I was so proud of myself because I I made a mic. <laughs> Well, I didn't made it. I, it was already there. So I'm trying to see how is how this is put together. It's pressed, so this black stuff should come off. Yeah, you have a couple of claws here on the button. In the middle of the button, there's two claws that you have to take away so that the button can come off. There you go. The button is off so you have the two wires going into the into the mic the red one is positive the black one is negative or ground and then you might have some circuitry into the no, I don't think it has a circuitry it's just plain you know in the in the button so when you push it it switches the, um, the 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 signal from input to output or actually in this case because you don't actually hear the sound coming from this you you hear the sound from the unit itself uh, in this case when you put the when you flip the switch on you just put the live wire on then uh, it, it can start transmitting it the, the mic is listening to you so I'm looking at it trying to figure out how to take it out is pressed into this plastic there you go it just clicks out and it's completely encased in there I can't I can't really open it without damaging it well, it's already damaged and I don't really care about it, so I'm gonna try to open it for you guys to see what's inside the microphone. What it say on the back? What does it say? Ayohi A4 something something and then there's melted plastic all over it. So from what I see here, the bottom part of this thing might come off. Let me see if I can take it off with a flat screwdriver without stabbing myself. Kids, don't do this to home. I'm a professional. Well, almost. Pressing with a screwdriver towards my hand. What could go wrong, right guys? Looks like safety isn't the number one priority around me, huh? Let's see here. <clears throat> Trying. Let's put this on in the middle. So that it doesn't move either way. Let's continue. In the words of the big salt and pepper, stop oh shit. It's not budging. Well, if you don't want it the easy way, let's go the hard way. Nope, not big enough. Be right back. Meet my handy dandy tool that I brought with myself from home. This is a really old tool that uh, I didn't find in stores, in hardware stores. I was looking for it around here in Canada for a long time, but I couldn't find it. And I love it because you can use it as a, as a vice, you can use it as a hammer, you can use it as a, uh, as a wrench. And Someone used it as an anvil, <laughs> so this is a pretty, pretty good multi-tool, really, really robust, made out of solid steel. It's nice and heavy and you can do a lot of stuff with it. My mom would love to crack walnuts with it, so 
take it and squeeze it. Uh, should crack, but it doesn't want to, it just flexes in. Can we do something with that? Not really. get into this thing so if it doesn't want to work with this let's try softening up that plastic a little bit with this torch and then we stab it let's try here so we don't damage those wires uh, get this ready, go. So you soften up the plastic a little bit, try not to light it on fire, and then you go in like that. Bam! And we are in. Okay, next. plastic a little bit and then you go in it does like it huh Okay, I'm starting to see stuff inside it. Let's keep going, little by little. Heat it up. Stab it. Cut it. Heat it up. Stab it. Cut it, stab it, cut it. Woohoo! A little more. Careful, it's getting hot. Let's go this way. Next, so always do the plastic, don't go inside because you're gonna damage the electronics inside. The plastic is actually protecting the electronics inside. And you don't have to do it a lot, just heat it up a little bit and then it becomes gooey and you can just pry it open. Just a little bit more and we have this can opened. It's starting to be hot. There you go. So I managed to pry this thing open. As like as you can see, like I said, there is a little speaker inside, and it picks up the vibrations of the air when you're talking, and then it sends it through the electronic part to interpret it. The way it works is that it has a little permanent magnet, and then it has the copper wires around it on a membrane. And when it works as a, as a speaker, is that it's receiving electric impulses from the machine that uh, 
go up and down it has a certain vibration with a certain it, it it's either a bigger pulse or a lower pulse it's either goes faster or slower and this is how it creates the waveform and then that waveform goes into the copper and the copper reacts creates an electromagnetic field that reacts with the permanent magnet and it causes it to go up and down and vibrate at a certain frequency that creates the sound now this thing is also valid in reverse you're not sending a signal to, uh, to it but from it you're talking the air vibrates it hits the little um, the little speaker it makes the copper coils go up and down in the magnetic field of the permanent magnet and that creates a tiny current that goes back on the wires into the machine and the machine can read that current and interpret it as sound and send it to, to the other machine. So uh, I hope it makes sense. <laughs> it's a little bit late uh, and I just got back from, uh, from a long trip. So this would be about it. Now you know what's inside a CB radio microphone. I also told you how it works a little bit. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to keep the internet alive. If you have any questions, leave them in the, um, in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, once again, thank you all for watching and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.